it's so nice to see everybody. So welcome everybody to this webinar. Um, so one of the things that's been going on recently for me is um, I met um, my new friend Marcus, who's here on the call somewhere. Hi, Marcus. And um, Marcus also read my book and he contacted me and his situation was a little bit different. He's been, he was suffering from long COVID and I really didn't pay that much attention to Corona. I know that sounds weird, but um, there was so much going on in the world that I kind of made a decision not to refer to it too much in, in my pain group because um, I wanted to keep <clears throat> the group more focused on positive things. And there's, you know, uh, I find a lot of these support groups in Facebook are very much about comparing symptoms and, and seeing what's wrong and all the negative stuff. And, you know, just, you know, can really bring you down if you start reading and believing that stuff. So we kind of like just kept going, looking at the solution and looking, um, at, you know, hopeful stuff. And then so when I re um, heard from Marcus and he said he'd been suffering from, from long COVID and I listened to the symptoms he described, um, it sounded very familiar. <laughs> it sounded like a lot of the um, stress related stuff that a lot of people, you know, with chronic pain um, experience. So I want to introduce Marcus because some of you may have seen the video that I made with him um, and uh, he was doing so much better in the video. So hi Marcus, how are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. I, I have an unruly seven-year-old in the next room who might no problem. run in. So it might be worse than your drilling, we don't know yet. So he's, he's doing okay for now, but yeah, apologies in advance. But uh, awesome. yeah, but overall really good to be honest. Um, I mean, when I, when I read your book over Christmas, I was just about starting a little bit of exercise. I wasn't leaving the house. I was too exhausted. I used to get these sort of dizzy spells and headaches that I'd had for almost two years. So the thought of driving was quite scary for me, you mm -hmm. know? And it's funny because um, when you do occupational therapy, I know people on, on this call have done a work with OTs and they're great, but they talk about, you know, pacing yourself externally. But of course, for me, you know, I was revving myself up internally. So I, I hadn't realized there was in the speed. And I think, you know, reading your book, Painless Over Christmas, it was that, I think one of the things that Deborah sort of talks about is that, you know, so much of sort of, you know, pain is also sped, sped up thinking, you know. Um, I thought, oh gosh, yeah, that is the case. I started playing around with just, when I caught myself getting sped up and really sort of layering thoughts on each other, just catching myself. And just trying to slow down or just actually just letting them run and then it would slow down just that you know observing it if you like and that seemed to help a bit with symptoms obviously i, I reached out to you and we, we started working together um it's been quite miraculous you know i think uh i mean some of the stuff i had done with the doctors had helped diet had helped and so on but one of the doctors said to me is the final piece of the puzzle is psychological and actually there's one doctor did a heart rate monitor, a guy called Dr. Alan Watkins. I had a heart rate monitor on for three days and it was looking at heart rate variability to see mm -hmm. how often I was in fight or flight. And he compared me to all this data with thousands of uh, people my age. He said, yeah, you're in the fifth percentile. You're constantly in chaos. You're absolutely wow. all over the place internally. So sort of you know, going back to the three principles, it's funny, I discovered the three principles years ago, but I thought that was more of a, here's how I do it with my stress in my business sort of thing. And then I got COVID and I was like, well, no, this is, this is a serious virus and a serious, like, you know, this is a real thing that, you know, the thinking stuff can't help with, you know, I need real medical intervention. And it's so ironic that, you know, something I discovered, you know, five, six years ago that really helped me with, with stress back then, you know, I'd completely forgotten <laughs> because COVID was a real <laughs> problem. This wasn't just me working myself up and I sort of come full circle and it's actually been, this understanding that's really helped me get back to, to almost normal. You know, yesterday I, I drove into the city, had lunch with friends, went, got my hair cut, just had, went about my day and I forgot that, oh, I've been struggling for long COVID for two years. You know, that, that, and I think to pick up on something other people have said, it's, the story's not there anymore. Because a big thing I was doing was when people were saying, hey, Marcus, how are you? I was giving them an update on long COVID. And now that's, that never happens anymore. It's not really there. Like, yes, occasionally I get a bit of a headache or whatever. And that's just a reminder to slow down internally as well as externally. Right. It's amazing. Uh, it's so um, it's so inspiring to, to hear these stories. And I remember when um, after we were talking a little while, um, I came up this I, I came up with this idea about deep resting because that's what you, you mm. kind of um, you, you just talked about pacing. And 
you know, in, in the three principles community, we often talk about deep listening. You know, and I've been coaching people for, you know, 30 something years now. And I thought I was a good listener. And I realized that um, actually I was a terrible listener because I was basically waiting for you to shut up so I could tell you what to do, which is, which is no kind of listening, right? And so listening, deep listening is when you're listening with a quiet mind, with nothing else on your mind. And make, it helps you to be really present with people. And so I kind of applied that to resting because most people on this call, you know, if you've suffered chronic pain to some degree or, or, or discomfort, you know, we want to uh, resting, resting and repair is something that we've kind of been missing. And so um, deep resting is, is when we're not doing anything like, because sometimes I say to people, are you resting? And they'd say, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to lie on the sofa and watch Netflix or something, or I'm going to, you know, I'll just, I'll just lie, lie and get my laptop and just check my email. You know, that's not resting, right? That's that, you know, we're still engaging the mind. And like Marcus just said, you know, if, if we've got an outer speed and an inner speed, you know, we may have slowed down physically because maybe we're frightened to move our bodies or frightened to lift or frightened to do something or frightened to eat certain foods or go to certain places. But if our minds are still going really fast, then that inner speed is, is still keeping, you know, the fight or flight um, response going. So, um, so I want to thank Marcus for helping me develop this idea of deep resting. Um, and uh, he also invented a word. Um, Marcus invented a word called COVIDy. I said, how, I said, how are you doing? He said, oh, I'm feeling a little bit COVIDy today. <laughs> so it's so nice to hear that you're not even needing your, your, your new invented word anymore. So, um, so thanks for sharing. That was, that was really inspiring. Thank you. Um, I, I'd like to.